Hey everybody, Alicia here with Cyboards, and I'm going to talk about our three main board sizes. I'm about five foot four. Yes, average height for women. Um, and the differences in our boards. So this, these are our demo boards. These have been used and abused for a couple years now, and they're still holding up just as well as ever. Got that rocker built in. This one is 27 by 15, and if you notice the ride stance on there. It's narrow enough, it's shoulder width, so I can ride this one all day long. It doesn't really tax my quads. I can just go and go and go. Move up to the 36 Cyclone board, 36 by 18 and a half wide. My um, stance is gonna be wider than shoulders now, so it's gonna be more difficult on my quads. And this one, if I'm doing a lot of sport moves or uh, working on faster moves, I will ride this one. So you see the comparison, we jump from here, here, to here, and then this is a, actually an older seismic demo board. This one's actually two inches shorter than our normal seismic that we sell. Our normal seismic is 45 inches by uh, 19. So this one's 43. So look how wide my stance is. Can you imagine holding your position like this and moving, moving those hips? This one takes a lot of, out of my legs. Okay, so seismic. This is great if you are um, five, five and above, if you wanna get that extended workout. Um, anybody shorter than five foot, definitely this is gonna be too small. This medium cyclone board is the one that most people get. This is the, the one that uh, seems to fit everybody. And this sidekick, if you're above six feet tall, it's just too small. If you're above six feet tall, you feel really cramped. It's, it would be like me trying to ride on a board like this. Just too small. And with our balls, this is the five inch tiny ball and the six and a half inch medium ball. These two balls work well with this sidekick board, although really the best combination would be the tiny and the sidekick. We move up to the cyclone board, the board that most people fit really well on. And in these three balls, um, eight and a half, six and a half, and five inch ride really well on this. Although your best ball combination is going to be the six and a half inch ball. Okay? And then we go up to the big, big seismic, and the best ball to ride on that one would either be your 10 inch, which we don't have today, the eight and a half, or the six and a half inch ball. And actually, the best ball, if you're an advanced rider, would really be the eight and a half for this large, large board. It puts you up nice and tall, you can get a lot of rocking motion, you're not gonna ground out the board um, on the ground, and it's gonna give you a really nice ride. <laughs> ah, almost held it. It is slower than the smaller boards because, for me, it's just a big board for me to whip around. Lots of leg strength, high up off the ground, lots of motion. For me, I'll use this board more for the sport movements where I'm staying really stable. For more information about our products, check us out at www.sideboards.com. And as always, breaking the rules on balance boards.